All right, how's it going, guys? It's your boy Breezy.tv14 back yet again for another video, and today we're going to be doing a Dixon Ticonderoga pencil review. Okay, so just a disclaimer: I'm in no way, shape, or form sponsored by Dixon Ticonderoga, but like, if you guys are watching, you know what I mean. Like, hit me up. Anyway, so <laughs> we're gonna be comparing the Dixon Ticonderoga to this number two HB. Okay, so. The number two HB is, I'm just going to write, um, Reezy.TV14 is cool. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and do it the same, but with the Ticonderoga. Okay. So, um, I guess I can show you like this we have the ticonderoga on the bottom it's a little darker a little bit more vibrant and the uh, number two hb is kind of light so you want you want a little darker of a pigment just because it's easier on the eye to see in my opinion okay and now we're going to do a shading test so i uh, just a disclaimer i'm not an artist in no way shape or form so if this is horrible, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw it out there. It's not my fault. Okay, so I'm gonna go light to like a medium-ish type type of thing going, and then we're really gonna start pressing down. Okay, cool. So that is a Ticonderoga. Now we're gonna go with the number two HB. Okay, so right away I'm gonna notice that this this pigment's a little light. Like you can see me trying to really get that pigment down, and the Ticonderoga really gets it nice and easily down. Like, it's going from really super dark to really light. That's pretty nice pigment. And here, the number two HB is kind of lacking. Not gonna lie, like um, the it's not as dark, and it just the gradient isn't isn't that nice. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today. And, uh, yeah, hit me up. Ticonderoga, you know what I'm saying? Like, your pencils are pretty fire.